Hello beauties, it's me Jaja and welcome back to Jaja Live. Today I have another hair tutorial for you ladies. So I had a request to do the bun that I had in my bronze glow um, video. I'll link that video in the description box. Um, but this is actually a bun that I wear quite often. Um, sometimes it is a little more textured and then sometimes it's um, a little bit looser in texture and that just kind of depends on what stretched style I did preceding the bun. I always only do my hair up in a bun like this when my hair is stretched. If I'm wearing my hair in its natural curl state, the natural really tight 3C, 4A curls that I have. When it's in that state, I don't do a bun. If I'm going to wear my hair up, you ladies have seen in my past videos, or if you haven't, if you watch any of my past videos and you see my hair kind of out in the puff, that's how I do my hair when my hair is in its completely natural, um, kinkiest, curliest state. I just put it up like that in a puff when I want it up and off my neck. But when my hair is in a stretched state, i.e. when I've done a um, twist out, which is what I do 95% of the time to stretch my hair, I do um, a twist out. And sometimes, depending on the products that I use, my twist outs will be more textured and sometimes my twist outs um, are, are less textured. For example, if I do smaller sections, then my curls or the waves that I get when I take the twist down, of course, are going to be tighter. And when I go to comb it out, um, I'm going to get more uh, textured um, kind of hair. Whereas if I do larger sections on my twist out and I use more um, oil-based products versus water-based products to do my twist, when I take those twists down, my hair kind of has more of the look of a um, blowout. And if you go back to that um, uh, bronze glow video, um, in that video, I had more of a looser um, twist out that I had done, and that was how I got that bun that was a little bit more sleek. This bun, like I said today, is more textured, but I do the exact same thing as far as how I actually tie it up to get this kind of look. The only thing that I use in um, this tutorial is just... Um, some Eco Styler gel, just a little bit of that, which is really um, optional. You don't have to use gel. I mainly just use the gel to kind of smooth um, everything up so there's not kind of flyaways. But sometimes I like the flyaways. So it just kind of depends on the look you want. I also used um, my water and conditioner mix. Um, I just mix plain water and my um, Elucents. Uh, moisture balance conditioner which I love oh my goodness I love that conditioner it's the only conditioner I use on my natural hair love it as far as products that's all I use if your hair feels a little bit dry before you do this style um, you'll just want to make sure you add um, kind of like an oil based uh, moisturizer. You don't want to add too many water-based products when you're doing this style because you don't want your hair to revert back to the shrunken uh, curly state. Um, unless of course that's the look that you want. I personally like my bun to be huge like this and I like it to have a lot of um, volume. I like it to sit up tall and be wide and so to do that, I need to have all of my extra length so that I can kind of pile my hair up the way I want to. If you ladies have any requests for me to do any um, tutorials uh, on my natural hair, just leave a comment in the comment section. And also, just FYI, um, I am going to be transitioning into a protective style very, very soon. So I wanted to go ahead and do this video because one of my lovely subscribers did request this um, video. So I wanted to do it before I transitioned into my protective style that I will be 
letting you ladies know all about um, very, very soon. So just FYI, if you do request um, a video on my natural hair, um, on a tutorial, just be advised that it may not come uh, right away, uh, depending on what the request is and depending on exactly when I... Um, transition to my new style. Thank you ladies so much for watching. I hope this video is helpful for you and of course if you enjoy the video and you find it helpful make sure you give it a big old thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel Zha Live make sure you do that as well. I won't see you again for the rest of the video. The rest of it is going to be silent me in my bathroom doing my bun. So I want to take this opportunity to thank you so much for watching. I'm Zha and this has been Jaja Live, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye, beauties.